Automobiles have evolved in many ways over the years with increasing fuel economy, reliability, handling, and comfort. However, it's a new era of automobile manufacturing focusing on safety while incorporating impressive new technologies into our transportation needs. As the number of vehicles on the roads increase, congestion and traffic can become a harrowing experience with increased risks in accidents. Automobile designers are always looking to improve and invent safety systems to keep accidents at a minimum. Several automobile manufacturers are working on autonomous vehicles or self-driving. Their goal is to use artificial intelligence, sensors and global positioning systems or GPS coordinates to safely control automobiles without the active intervention of a human operator. Engineers use algorithms that calculate information to determine what the best evasive measure should be if another car started coming into its projected path. Autonomous driving could reduce accidents, therefore reducing insurance requirements. It could allow for higher speed limits while improving fuel efficiency, reducing air pollution and general traffic congestion. Drivers would become passengers telling it where to go and taking on other activities such as reading a book, watching the news or having a phone conversation. Autonomous and connected cars seem like a product of the future, but engineers at Nissan are working on Eporo robots, which are a stepping stone toward autonomous cars. Eporo robots are modeled after the behavior of a school of fish. The robots move together in harmony, never touching one another while avoiding obstacles. Some of these technologies are similar to those used in blind spot intervention and collision avoidance systems. Well, we can look at it from a societal perspective in the terms of designing cities. Um, you know, transportation as a whole will change. Um, and these are, I think, um, you know, aspects that we are not immediately thinking about about how it will change where we live, how we live, and how we will interact as a society. Um, I think city planning and, you know, and, and transportations inside cities are things that will be uh, changing. Um, and so who will benefit is, is, you know, is everybody. Regardless if an automobile is controlled by a driver or runs autonomously, humans still need to properly maintain vehicles. One general maintenance requirement that is often overlooked is correct tire pressure. If not managed properly, it can negatively affect the car's handling and fuel efficiency. Nissan engineers crafted the Easy Fill Tire Alert System, which identifies incorrect pressure and clearly points out the culprit. As the tires are filled, the four-way flashers signify that air is going in. The horn chirps when they're filled to the optimal pressure. If too much air is added, the flashers blink faster and the horn sounds three times. Most cars undergo strict crash test studies and are equipped with airbags. Manufacturers are taking things a step further to help protect people in the event that they are involved in an accident. In this Chrysler minivan, rear active head restraints can prevent neck whiplash injuries if the minivan is rear-ended. In a rear collision, they actuate and deploy, reducing the distance between the person's head and the head restraint. It is also equipped with a blind spot monitoring system, which provides a visual signal on the side view mirror when another vehicle approaches. When the other vehicle moves beyond the blind spot, the warning light goes out to signify that it is now safe to change lanes. Many new cars are equipped with backup cameras as well, and in the near future, we can expect that most cars will come with this safety feature. Automobile manufacturers execute rigorous testing on their vehicles to get a better understanding of design weakness. Engineers are dissecting a Ford hybrid that was used as a taxi in New York City and quickly compiled over 200,000 miles. We have the hybrid taxi here, and um, one of the reasons why we pull back a vehicle that's been in service for so long is really to understand after it's been used beyond what you would normally expect a customer to do. In this case, it's been used for well over 200,000 miles. 
we want to see, does this vehicle look the way we had expected it to look based on the types of testing that we did before we even put this vehicle into production. So this is the high voltage battery for the hybrid escape. Um, essentially it's going to take all the full cargo space behind your vehicle. The battery needs its cooling and in this design it draws air from the outside of the vehicle. It pulls the air in right here tucked in along this quarter glass and it pulls it inside behind the glass. And it's hidden behind this trim, so we'll pull this off in just a bit and show you what's in here. But it pulls it into a duct in here, pulls it down, and enters into the battery assembly for cooling. When we're drawing the outside air and we want to keep the battery clean from any of the dust or debris that would normally come in, we keep a filter right inside here. And this is something that you want to maintain on a, clean on a regular basis, something around once a year. We pull this panel off, we pull this cover off here. And inside here is the filter that's catching all of the dust. You can see here, it looks like it's been maintained reasonably well. It's a little bit black and dirty, but for an air filter, that's pretty good. So we're going to take off the cover here. We'll take a look inside, see what's going on inside this uh, battery system. Now you're looking at the inside of the high voltage battery assembly. The first thing that we can see right here is it's very clean. There's actually a lot less dust than I might have expected for the amount of operation, the ingestion of all the dirt and the soot that you'd expect in a New York City taxi vehicle driving so many miles. Um, so that's a really good sign. Um, and even if there were some dirt, uh, that wouldn't necessarily affect the performance, but this is surprisingly low on any debris inside. I think that's a great sign that that filter that we inspected a little bit earlier today was uh, doing its job and the, and the taxi fleet was doing a nice job of taking care of exchanging that as needed. Underneath this layer here is a whole series of these modules which contains a series of five cells in a row and they're all layered into here. As we transition to the next generation batteries, we're developing lithium ion batteries which have the potential of cutting the weight of the battery in half. Um, the volume or packaging space required by about 10 to 15 percent with equal performance capabilities. There are features that have been incorporated into electric vehicles for the safety of those outside the vehicle as well. The LEAF is a very quiet car. Electric cars do not have internal combustion engines or exhaust systems like conventional automobiles. To alert pedestrians, the blind and others of its presence, the Nissan LEAF is equipped with digital warning sounds. Nissan created the vehicle sound for pedestrian system, which makes an easy to hear noise for those on the street to warn of the approaching vehicle. But the warning sounds do not distract the occupants of the car. Automobile manufacturers are also concerned for the safety of our environment. While automobiles such as the LEAF run on electricity, the production of electricity required to charge the car often consumes fossil fuels. Solar-powered electric vehicle charging stations are becoming more common, making emissions-free, 100% renewable energy automobiles a real possibility. More than 30 major American corporations have committed to installing chargers for electric cars at locations such as headquarters or manufacturing facilities. The U.S. Department of Energy recently introduced the Workplace Charging Challenge with the goal of achieving a tenfold increase in the number of employers offering workplace charging stations in the next five years. Companies such as Google, FedEx, Dell and Facebook have joined the initiative. While some companies use solar energy to alleviate their dependence on fossil fuels, others are looking internally to reduce their carbon footprint. Nissan hopes to lower their overall energy consumption in manufacturing plants by 25% in 10 years. An air leak detection squad was assigned whose only job is to find and repair wasted compressed air, one of the costliest forms of wasted energy at the plant. Compressed air is fed to the stamping presses, paint applications and for tools requiring torque on the assembly line. There are miles of hoses carrying the air to thousands of devices in this single plant. Leaks can occur anywhere, losing 20 to 30 percent of the compressed air. Air leaks are hard to detect because you simply can't see them. Also, uh, most cases you can't hear them because the ma manufacturing noise levels. The team uses this air leak detection tool. 
It is essentially a high-powered microphone that senses and amplifies inaudible sounds from leaks into sounds that a specialist can detect with headphones. What I'm doing here is I'm just scanning the hose, the air hose, and the closer I get to the leak, the louder the noise in the headphones get, and also the tool is going to give me a decibel reading. The higher the decibel level, the bigger the leak. In one year, the plan has paid off, locating and repairing over 3,500 leaks, equivalent to 8,000 tons of CO2 emissions. The automotive industry offers some of the most exciting and rewarding career opportunities an engineer could want. From autonomous vehicle programming, to lightweight materials, to alternative fuel possibilities, Automotive engineers use highly advanced technologies to create products that will lead us into a new era of transportation. Careers in automotive engineering are exciting because they design, test, and develop vehicles from the concept stage to production. They're also involved in improving the vehicle in response to customer feedback. People in these careers use both traditional methods and state-of-the-art technology to engineer vehicles to the highest standards of performance, safety, and reliability. Our cars are no longer simply tools to get us from point A to point B. They're getting smarter as the future of transportation is focused on safety and environmental concerns. The latest automobile innovations will revolutionize the automotive industry and the comfort and safety in which we travel.